Ask, don't tell. Simple as it sounds, that's the message. To illustrate it, John is going to allow one accomplished golfer in the group to take a volunteer and tell them how to hit the ball, while John himself attempts to get another novice swinging effectively by doing nothing more than asking questions. Just um, take a swing at a couple of them. Now, first of all, your feet should be roughly shoulders apart. Okay? So just stand like that. Uh, yes, but that, that foot actually... Uh, just imagine yourself trying to cope with all the instructions Lindsay is about to receive. You've got to grip the club. I'll hold your hands open like that. Okay? And put your fingers over the golf club. So the thumbs are in line with the arms. And get your arms straight. Now, move your hands down the club a bit. And the small finger at the back, can you just lock it over like that? Okay, now, what, I don't know what that, no, that finger's supposed to be in line with your, with your arm. So right. put that over like that. Right. So far. No. That's right. Let's come right back. So you're in line. Okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is just swing at that ball, and then we'll take it from there. Go on, swing. Meanwhile, okay. instead of telling Mandy, so, John like coaches her by just doing, asking her questions. Just to find out what you notice when you're swinging at the ball. Where are you paying attention, what you're looking at, what you're feeling, anything that you notice when you go ahead and do this, yeah? Okay. Ball. Okay, so, so you're, you're, you're more or less concentrating on the ball. You're concentrating on seeing the ball. Yeah. 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 Okay. Exactly Weigh up for yourself the advantages and disadvantages of these contrasting coaching techniques. The two key things John's trying to achieve with his questions are raising awareness and generating responsibility. Just tell me what part of your body feels more awkward than the rest. You might you might want to divide yourself in two and start off by saying, well, arms and shoulders. Let's see how that feels this time. Then next time we'll check out below the waist. See how that feels. Okay. So just tell me what's going on this time. It doesn't feel so very fluid. Doesn't feel very fluid. No, it's okay. I'm making an effort to it. Feels you're making an effort. Mm -hmm. So you you would like to hit the ball in a fluid way, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let's make a, a a fluidness scale. All right. The ten is very fluid, and zero is it was very awkward. All right? Let's just tell me where this is on that scale. Just hit this one. Tell me where it is on the scale. About five. About five. Okay. Now keep that side. Imagine that side being against a wall. So keep it straight. And if you're swinging back, then hit. Remembering that side is flat against the wall. Okay? Right. Now, just go back a bit. You, your, arm, your shoulders need to be straight. You've got one, one shoulder down like that, okay? So can you keep both shoulders still and your head down looking at the ball? Okay? Now, can you also bend your knees a bit? What else would you like to do? What would be the next step for you? Is there some other area of discomfort or would you like to add in something? Next step for improvement for you. If you, if you wanted something else in your golf, what would it be? I'd like to do one of those nice sort of high ones. You'd like to hit it high? Yeah, and... high. A powerful one. Okay. Yeah. Let's come back to our scale again. Let's, let's just make a scale so we know what we're working with. To hit one and then tell me where that is on your power scale with 10 high. Ooh. Five. Six. Okay. It's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this session finished, Mandy and Lindsay were both hitting the ball much better than when they started. But Mandy had reached her success through a process in her control, which she shaped, and most importantly, which she now owns. Because she made her own discoveries, the experience had a big impact on her. You can almost feel the pleasure she gets from acquiring a new skill. Got it. You've done it, haven't you? <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, 
well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, you looked as if you really enjoyed that. Yeah, I did. It was absolutely amazing. I can't believe that he could make, make me even hit the ball properly, let alone do anything else. It's did, he make, did he make you do it? No. No, he didn't. No. Who was doing it? Me. Okay. Yeah. Was he telling you how to do it? No, not at all. He didn't tell me how to do it at all. He just made me more aware of, of what I was actually doing. Yeah. It's incredible.